The four elements are what created the entire universe. In fact, is if you want to go a little bit deep, something uh, very deep from the Baal Shem Tov, what does he say? He says there's actually five elements. The first element is the element of light, or, and it, or is is Kwahahiuli. It's the uh, fundamental, vital force of the universe, and it's from this um, essence called light, which is the vital force, right, of, of the universe that brings into existence all that be and a light is energy energy is the force that keeps us in existence this light when it left kisa kavod when it left the holy throne as it came and descended down into the world the baal shem Tov says the light turned into the first um it it, be, it began to um he he the, the exact words in hebrew is say trilit gashem it became Gashmi. The, when the light becomes Gashmi, it, it starts forming the four elements. And, and he brings down that the first of it is actually wind. Because if you look at the word or and the word for wind, avir, avir has the word or in it with the addition of a letter yud. Right? And that Yud is basically, Yud stands for the Chochmah Elohim, the wisdom of God. And in Hashem's wisdom, he decided that in order for light to exist, it has to lose its original form, dissolve from its original form, and it needs to become more materialistic. And wind, so to speak, is more, it's more materialistic, but it still is not to, nothing you could catch. Think about it. Can you catch the wind? Can you see the wind? No. It still has that element of, of spirituality in it. Then you go down to fire, and fire is also something that you wouldn't necessarily, it's not something you can actually catch, even if you tried. Even let's say you had hands that weren't going to burn, God forbid. You can't catch fire. It's not something you can grab onto. It's still, in, in, in essence, even though you could see it now, but it's still spiritual. Then you go down to water, and even water is a little bit hard to catch. Think about it. It's hard. You grab it. What happens it sort of like falls out of your hand so you could feel it but it doesn't really you can't really grab it unless you have a vessel right you need something gosh me to hold water and then you go down oh the least of it all is is earth earth is something already oh that's something else that I can already hold on to and even that if you hold on to sand there's only if you grab a whole bunch of sand you'll only be left with a little bit so what this teaches us is that these four elements are very spiritual in their essence, but this is how Hashem basically created the universe is through the power of first energy, and as it descended down into the world, it became more and more materialistic. That your elements, and everyone has all four elements, you have water in your body, you have fire in your body, you have earth in your body, and you have wind in your body. You have all four elements. You have organs that all belong to four elements. When the elements, right, are, uh, so we meet all four of them. Everyone has all four of them. And there's, the, the balance between all four of them, how, in terms of their flow, the channeling between all four of them, in terms of the balance, how much one is more predominant over the next, that is what will um, enable a person to have what we call a balanced mind, body, and soul. And the elements affect everything, mind, body, and soul. From koach yichida, from the soul root of their soul, till their garments of their nefesh in terms of their midot, also including their komat haguf, the functionality, physical functionality of the organs of their body. So the four elements is the basis of mental, emotional, physical, spiritual health. We're not looking to eradicate any of them. We're not even looking to weaken any of them. We're looking to refine, elevate, and channel them. That's what we're looking to do. So it's not, it's not bad that someone has a lot of fire. There's nothing wrong with it if I'm mostly made of fire. I just have to make sure that I'm practicing enough to bring out the other four elements.